one love, one aim, one destiny. Hiya, I them say more. Every pass it them a shout out more. And the dance floor, I them a ball out more. And the dance. The time has come to tell my tale of woe. I will preface it by saying that this story I'm about to tell you is one of the more stressful times in my life. I'm going to start at the beginning. There are a couple fine little details that I'm going to gloss over, fudge about, because I just don't need to put it out there. But let's just say this. I'm at the border. I'm leaving Ecuador. I've got these two gigantic suitcases. They weighed almost 100 pounds each. I've got a guitar in a case, soft case, and I've got a backpack. All my worldly goods. So here I am at the border. And I've got no passport. And I've got no cedula. Of course, I always carry copies, so I've got copies of these, but you can't cross the border like that. So what's a boy to do? I don't know what to do. I mean, I got these suitcases. I've got to do something with these things. I mean, you, you just can't be lugging this stuff around. So I decide that I'm going to go ahead and just cross the border. And I'm going to get this stuff to Manizales. And then I'll sort out the details. Ooh, I tell you what. The chances of that working out are slim to none. But that's what I do. I go across the border. And I get in a taxi cab. And I run on and get a bus ticket. And I head to Manizales with no papers, with no border stamps, no exit, no entry, nothing legal. So my first obstacle is to get past the road checks. Road checks in Colombia are now common and plentiful. As a matter of fact, you've seen in previous videos, if you recall, if you haven't, go back and watch them. The, in coming to Colombia, it was pretty common when I get on on the bus in Ipiales, right across the border from Ecuador, that before the bus even leaves, the national police will come on and check everybody's ID. And so there I am sitting on the bus going, please no, please no. And they didn't. But there's road checks constantly now in Colombia. It's because there's a big long list of narco criminals, criminals in general, and they've, they've really been cracking down. And so they're checking things like buses at airports to see if any of these low life criminals are trying to sneak around using buses and airplanes. So there's, there's stops, and the stops will come through and they check your ID, but not always. And so I leave Epialis, and we have a police check. And they don't check me. So we keep going. We got another check. And I make it on through. And we keep going. And of course, there's another check. I pretend I'm sleeping. And it worked. They walked by. I'm freaking out. I, this is really stressful. And this journey has just begun. So we keep going. So we get to Popajan. It's uh, four hours maybe south of Cali. They come through the butt. We're at the terminal. 
and the police comes on and he's checking. This He's checking every single person. He gets to me. I tell him, my passport's lost. My cedula is lost. I've only got copies. That's fine. Where's your Andina card? Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> Where's your entry? Did they give you something for it? No, I don't know. You know, I'm playing dumb now. Calls me off the bus. Follow me. So I follow him. I take my backpack, I take my guitar, because I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, he was he was pretty stern and and he's not letting anything slide. So we go through the terminal and there's a national police office there. Now I'm thinking, I got these two huge suitcases on the bus. What if the bus leaves? What 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 I'm freaking out. None of the stuff really bothered me that much except the suitcases because I've got stuff there that just can't be replaced. That's why, you know, they don't get sold. That's why they stay with me. And I'm not used to being illegal. So we get back to the office and there's a head honcho there sitting behind the desk with his computer. And he asked me the same question, where's my Andina card? And I'm playing stupid, because um, I don't know what else to do. And so I'm dropping in a little Spanish, but I'm, I'm mostly just saying I don't understand, I don't understand, I understand completely. And they go through my backpack, and uh, they're checking my guitar case. I guess they're looking for a machine gun, I don't know. And so they just keep questioning me, and I'm just playing dumb, and and uh, you know I tell them that you know I lost my passport, and my schedule, and I show them the copies, and we just go through this uh, probably five or six times. And he's checking on the computer. I don't know if they if they can tap into the immigration computer to see about entries. I I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't, I couldn't see what he was looking at. So then the bus driver comes back and he says, uh, he tells the police, the bus really needs to leave, it can't keep waiting, and what are they going to do with me? And um, so the police asked me one more time again about having an entry and I don't understand. So he tells me I need to go with the driver and get the suitcases. Okay, so we go to the bus, and the driver puts up the thing, and he's pulling out the suitcases. He pulls the first one out, and then comes behind me one of the cops. So there were a total of six or seven cops there, actually, uh, and they'd all congregated to listen to what was going on. And they were all having a pretty good time, you know. So I, uh, you know, I kept smiling and chuckling, and you know, you don't want to have a sour mood, so. Anyway, probably the youngest one, he, he comes up and the driver pokes me and tells me, give him some money. I, what? Give him some money. So I pull out my wallet and I pull out a 50 peso bill, or 50,000 peso bill, and I hand it to the cop. And he says, so I pull out another 50,000 peso. And he's, well, when my wallet was empty, he lets me put my suitcase back in. They bring my backpack, they bring my guitar, they walk me onto the bus, they have, us, have me uh, take a seat, they thank me oh so much, they, is this okay where the guitar is? Where do you want the backpack? Great service, great service. And the bus leaves and I'm on my way. One problem. I've got a long way to go with a lot more road checks. So let's pick this up at part two.